Hi everybody, and welcome to Manga Hurtada, my anime and manga themed website. For my social media project, I decided to investigate how activism is growing in manga and anime communities. There's a lot more talk about it on social media platforms, and so I decided to look at some of the specific efforts that are going on out there. We all want to be part of the solution, and that includes anime fans. I have three pages with content and a reference page. So, of total of four pages, I decided that the first page should have some of, some fun stuff on it so people will get interested in the topic first. You can't start off with anything too heavy, although I know some people are very dramatic. So if you scroll down, I started with some link to my favorite websites for entertainment and also some fo local stuff that's going on here in Tucson. I think people that like this stuff will be interested in knowing about where others are congregating locally. I was thinking of adding a current events banner on the front page. You know all the local stuff that people who live here would be interested in doing. Now that the COVID-19 restrictions are getting better, maybe we could do Comic Con again. A few years back they had a live Pokemon hunt at both the Foothills Mall and also at the Tohono Troll Botanical Garden. It would be cool if we could do something like that again and maybe raise money for a good cause at the same time. I put in some of my artwork too on the first page along with some of my pics and when you get to the bottom I started getting to my theme. I had the pictures of various issues that fit in with my theme. You can read them. I tried to write write a short explanation of what was going on when the picture was taken so that people don't get bored. I wanted to make sure that anime fans out there know that the pe me that the media is being used in about creative ways. There's controversy too, as you can see on the bottom of the first page. If you go to page 2, then I get into more activism projects so that I can hopefully inspire others to take an interest. If you scroll down, you will see some groups that are trying to do some good stuff. I left the links for some for those groups along with pictures and the short explanation of what they do. I also talk about some previous crowdsources efforts that were used to protest things that were wrong around the world. So if you want to, you can read about it. So if you turn to page 3, I put in some more in-depth topics in again. I tried to find pictures that would make it easy to understand the topic and I wrote a short paragraph so I wouldn't lose everybody's interest. There's still a lot of hateful stuff going on out there and so I hope that I made my websites interesting enough where people will flip through without completely tuning out. I also tried to pick stories that had some inter entertainment value. I know you lose your audience really fast if they feel like you're preaching to them instead of engaging with them. I learned that in my exploring art and visual class last semester. The last page is my reference page, and I left links to any topic that people wanted to learn more about. And I think they're good sources and information. Some of the library articles were really hard to read, but I managed to get through it, and I learned a lot, I think. I'm also going to add a comment feature and try to, be, try to keep maintaining my website as things happened. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I used Google Sites to build my website. It was pretty easy to use. You have to use the templates, so you can't really move stuff around too much. But otherwise, it's a good platform to use. So that's it, and I look forward to seeing everybody else's stuff. I hope you like my site. I'm sure I will like yours. Thank you.